Hey, are you a lazy artist? Do you like making art by doing the least amount of work humanly possible? Well, you came to the right place. Because on this channel, we work smart and not hard, if we work at all. Today, I'm going to show you how I made this animation in Blender without breaking a sweat. You ready? Let's go. First off, I started with a plane and subdivided it and duplicated it a lot of times to like form the leaves of our tree. Trust me, this is like very easy. As you can see, just a single plane that I duplicated a lot of times. As for the trunk of the tree, I actually started with a cube and extruded it in a bunch of random directions. I added some loop cuts and made more uh, extrusions. It's actually quite simple and actually a little bit fun when you get into it. When I was satisfied with the trunk, I actually started duplicating parts of the leaves of the tree and carrying them around until they looked natural enough to the point I was satisfied with. So what I did next was add a tune shader to the tree trunk and use a grease pencil object to draw the details on the tree. Um, I don't have footage of doing that here, I'm sorry about that, but trust me it was a very satisfying process. So next, I started drawing some grease pencil assets for flowers and grasses. Um, all the flowers and grasses are in, th in this scene are completely grease pencil um, 2D objects. So yeah, I just started drawing them, duplicating them, and I plan to make the whole field to be filled with you know, grass objects and flower objects. I also don't plan to draw every single blade of grass or every single flower in this um, scene. Remember the title of this video? Uh, I plan to do everything in Blender with ease, so I'm just going to duplicate a lot of the objects, vary them a little, uh, ro rotate them, move them around, and like, yeah, at the end of the day, we'll have a full field of flowers that we can uh, use. Now, as you can see, this particular flower drawing, I plan on like, using it a lot, so I'm going to assign a different material to it. Uh, I plan on like, using different colors or different materials for this particular drawing so we can have a lot of them that's why in the end you can see we have a lot of colors going on so yeah it's not anything i did manually i'm just uh duplicating objects and assigning them to new materials i went ahead to add some more leaves and stuff for more uh variation i also added more like individual blades of grass these are just 2d strokes that i laid on the ground but from an angle they look um, real to an extent next off i'm adding my character in which is also a flat 2d object into the scene if you didn't know so i'm just going to add it in or add her in and give her a little bit of idle animation nothing too serious you can also go back in and change the materials of whatever you want at any time you want if you watch my videos at all, you know I'm a big fan of comic uh, language. So I just went in, added this radio and added a kind of yellow blaring effect to the radio. I later went in and added a glow effect to that yellow material. So in order to fill this whole field of flowers, I went to edit mode and kind of like selected all the flowers I had and started duplicating them everywhere like duplicating rotating scaling you know making everything look natural while doing the least amount of work possible so that's what i did here then i went ahead to add all these dialogue boxes uh, i really like adding these in because i hand draw them myself i don't think i'm ever going to stop uh, drawing in these dialogue boxes anytime in the future then I started animating the camera movement, which is arguably one of the most satisfying parts of this whole process. Which, because it's basically where you see your whole pro the whole project coming together. So yeah, I actually had fun animating the camera movement. It's just a basic zoom in, zoom out kind of movement. Um, yeah, that's just what the camera movement consists of. I had to animate two cameras because. I needed one for this video and another one for my social media page on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, I think the link will be in the description where you can follow me and see the posts uh, there on Instagram. 
so this is basically the end of the process after adding some sound effects and other things this is the final piece So thank you so much for sticking with me to the end of the video. Please leave a like on this video and subscribe if you want to. If you really like this my style of animation on Blender, check out my other videos on my channel. And also the source file or the blend file for this particular project will be available on my Gumroad. So if you are interested in that as well as other things that are in my shop, uh, you can check in the description for the link to my Gumroad page. Uh, so thank you so much and I'll see you on the next one.